absolutely fantastic group of writers who will be reading from their own work and discussing Shakespeare's influence on their writing. In our global celebrations of Shakespeare and his work, the British Council, I'm really keen, will focus on his extraordinary universality. His plays and writing appeal, as we know, to all cultures worldwide and can be retold in so many ways and languages. The politics of power and sex, the fear of death, hate, anger, ambition, jealousy, despair, humour, and always the yearning for love. These are the constants of the human condition, and Shakespeare wrote about them all with an openness and a glorious insight which gives his plays still the shock of the true. And if you wonder why we feel so connected to some of Shakespeare's characters, it's because he lowers, them into, he lowers us into them as nobody else can. One of the reasons he is, we all love him everywhere is he, he has no ideology, he has no politics, he has no philosophy, we don't know what he thinks, but he orchestrates the most important thoughts. Be not feared, the isle is full of noises. Sounds and sweet airs that give delight and hurt not. I got a shiver reading that, thinking of all the thousands of people who've read those lines before. You become part of this tradition and this context, which is just so exciting. It's a paradox, really, because I don't like to see him being turned contemporary. I don't like the feeling of seeing him being used by other people. Um, but I was thinking as you started asking that question that, oddly, what I also feel is that he isn't his own contemporary because he stretches so much further. And when I met him as a child, as a girl, as a student, as a writer, he was just a person I met. Um, I don't think of him either as my contemporary or not my contemporary. Somebody was asking earlier in the seminar, you know, what's your favorite line? Yeah. In many ways, I'll drown my book. <laughs> That's your favourite. One of my favourites. They were walking past the spice market, homebound, and as they came in sight of the Hippodrome, with its tall colonnades and its fluttering flags, she knew something was wrong. You're just trying to make something that entertains people, which mm. is, you know, mm. brings us back to our old friend, Mr Shakespeare. If I could bear it longer and not fall to quarrel with your greater opposeless wills, my snuff and loathed part of nature should burn itself out. He's a great Trojan horse, you know, kind of writer. Or, or with Hamlet, you know, OK, we want a revenge tragedy, so he writes one in which the guy doesn't do the only thing he's meant to do. I mean, it's, it's brilliant. The major thing is that Shakespeare allows you to tune into the incredible richness of language and that all the other writers are doing exactly the same thing. So it's basically going back and bathing in the marvellous seas of language. Without literature, life is hell. Good evening. <laughs>